In this video, we are going to learn about distributive property of multiplication over addition of whole numbers. At first glance, this may actually seem a little complicated, right? But it's actually not. Now, what does this mean? Many a times you may come across a situation where you have to do a multiplication of two numbers. Okay, let's say for example, I tell you, you have to multiply 17 by 105. Now, the traditional method would tell you, you put down 105, you put down 17, and then you do a multiplication of this entire number, right? But there is another way of which we can be used and do this simply. And this is where the distributive property of multiplication over addition of whole number comes into place. So what this property says is that when I have to multiply two numbers, what I can do is keeping the one number the way it is, I can express the second number as a sum of two whole numbers. So 105 is a whole number. What I do is I try to make it as a sum of two whole numbers such that their sum is 105. So if I write this as 100 plus 5, this would be the same thing because 105 is nothing but 105. Now what the distributive property of multiplication over addition of whole numbers implies is that whenever we multiply two numbers, okay, let's say A times B plus C. In this case, A is what? 17. B is what? 100. C is 5. The way this pans out is that this is always equal to A into B, right? I first multiply this first number with a second, plus A into C. Or you multiply or you distribute the number which is to be multiplied over both the numbers in addition. And the result is always going to be the same or in other words, a times B plus C is equal to A times B plus A times C. If I apply it to this case, what will I get? I get 17 times 100 plus 17 times 5. Now 17 times 100 will give me 1700. Why did I use 100? I use 100 because I know I can easily multiply 100 with 17 plus 17 times 5 will give you 85. I've quickly done this addition, you can do it. Or the answer is 1785. Should we try this for this? I mean, if you see in the normal multiplication also, what you do is when you multiply these two, so first you will multiply this 105 by 7. Okay, 105 times 7. Right? And this is what is going to come over here. So 7 times 5, 35, 5, 3, 7 times 0, 0, 3, 7, 35. And then when you apply this cross sign over here, what does this mean? We are actually just adding a 0, which is why, because we are moving from 1's place to 10's place. And then you put in 1, 0, 5. This gives you 5, 8, 7, 1, which is nothing but the answer that you have got. Let's now look at another example and that will kind of help you to concrete this. So let's say you have to multiply 18 with 152. Okay. Again, what I can do is I can write this as 18 into 100. Okay. Plus 50 plus 2. So what I have done is I have broken down 152 into three numbers, the sum of which is 152. Now this, you have to see that how do you break this up so that you can easily get the answer. And when I distribute this 18 over the three numbers, I get 18 times 100 plus 18 times 50 plus 18 times 2. This gives you 1800 plus 18 times 50, so 5, 0, 0, 18 times 5, 90, 900, plus 36. 
1800 plus 9, 2700, 36, 2736. So this basically helps your ability to do maths quickly in the mind itself.